I am New York Times bestselling author Marcus Brotherton. I am talking with Gary Byprick, Medal of Honor recipient, and we have a new book together called Blaze of Light. It is Gary's life story. When you first get to, to Doc Sang, it's, it's a tremendous place. And you are, there's a, a, a team of 12 Green Berets, 400 indigenous fighters, the Montagnard fighters, and then about 2,300 women and children. Uh, what were some of your initial responsibilities at the camp and, and what was the climate of the camp like? What was the tone of the camp like? Oh, the, the camp immediately was one of welcome. Um, the Montagnard people were so gracious and so uh, willing to um, let you into their culture if you showed an interest in them. And that was one of the things, things that was instilled in us by special forces is that in order to make an impact or to have an, an effect in an individual, you can't go in with an arrogant attitude. You have to go in with, as a student, you can teach me. I want to learn what it means to be a member of this village, of this community. As a matter of fact, I remember saying to the individual who became eventually my bodyguard, as I said, I want you to teach me how to survive in the jungle because this is your, this is your, this is your territory. You, you live here. I'm the foreigner here and I need you to help me. And so the, uh, the mountain yards were very welcoming to anyone who came in with that kind of attitude. And if I in, wanted to have any kind of an impact on them or to teach them the things about what I knew about medicine, um, I had to develop a rapport with them. And so it was a very welcoming, give and take kind of experience. They were inquisitive about me and who I was just as much as I wanted to know more about them. I wanted to become a part of their culture. And so it was a very welcoming uh, experience. It was also unique because each tribe had a witch doctor and being a team medic, part of my responsibility was to develop a rapport with this witch doctor. So here I was as a 24 year old young guy, um, interacting with these individuals uh, who lived in a, uh, who many people would have called heathen, living in a primitive lifestyle, interacting with a witch doctor. But my time there was spent learning. I went in as a student and they taught me about, about living, about what it meant to live, not just surviving, but they, they taught me how to live. And that was a lesson that I took with me that's helped me throughout my life. Mm -hmm. is that life is more about just sur than surviving. Life is about living. And it was my experience in the, with the mountain yards that helped me learn how to live.